What's going on guys, Jay here, and happy Sunday to you all. Um, I'm actually recording this on a Friday, but you know, recording in advance, you know, awesomeness. So, anyway, got a Wi-Fi battle for you guys, a Challenge Cup match up against King Quag. Um, and uh, if you guys don't know what Challenge Cup is, basically, um, in a nutshell, it's a, ran it's a random team, like completely random, random team at random levels with random moves and random items everything is completely random it takes like it take basically it takes roulette match battle to like a whole new level like you see i have a fucking pan sage and a psyduck on my team what <laughs> and he has like pretty much he has some scary stuff over there i'm like not really not, i mean like they're scary in a sense but once you see the move sets and things you know things aren't really that they aren't that scary but i mean that's pretty basically what challenge cup is in a nutshell um, basically this dude Antar actually came up with he uh, created this uh, program and uh, basically it generates you a random team and you don't even know what your team is until you actually go through and play it and uh, also another rule of um, challenge cup uh, when you have the team preview you are not allowed to look at your opponent's team preview so you do you don't know what your opponent has and um, you're basically going to this battle extremely blind so um, but uh, yeah, as you see, the match already started. He's going to lead off with Linoon as I'm going to lead off my Zoilus. And he has Icy Wind. And I was like, uh, what? <laughs> okay, that's completely fucking random. Like, I'm not even lying right That's random as shit. Are you serious? And we just both happen to be on the same level. That's crazy. But uh, I think I'm, I missed my first head smash. I hit the second one thanks to fucking Hustle. I mean, seriously, cutting my accuracy. I'm, I'm very disappointed and all that but uh you know it's whatever that's how it is you know i mean it, at least it hit and it killed but he has a free switch into his butterfree he's gonna go for the go for the uh, go for the go for the what <laughs> he's gonna go for the bug bite and go ahead and take out my zoilus so uh that's a uh, dead zoilus but now i'm gonna bring in my zatu because this is probably just the best pokemon i have on my team like n no no kidding man um, but he's gonna switch out, predict my psychic, I guess, and go into his Gotha Tail, which I actually do have the psychic, or pre predicted my psychic type move. Let me say it like that because you don't know what the fuck you get. You get. I might have had like confusion or Psy Shock or something. But um, I'm gonna go for protect just to see what he what he goes for. He goes for round, which kind of sucks. And also I carry Shadow Ball, which sucks even more, and I get a crit, which sucks even more. So, uh, you know, this, this Zatu is just so freaking good right now. Not even kidding. I think my moveset was like, uh, Psychic, Protect, Shadow Ball, and I, I literally forgot the fourth move, but, uh, obviously it did. Oh, Peck! Yes! And when do you ever get to see Peck KO in a, in the, in a competitive battle? Never. That's what. So he brings in Fortress. I'm going to go for the Peck to see how much it does, and it does a very, very pitiful amount. And then he reveals he has um, rollout, so I'm like, okay, let me go ahead and protect, just so I, because I don't know if rollout actually resets if you use protect. So uh, I just went ahead and go for the protect. Now I'm gonna switch out, switch into my Dragonair, because I figured Dragonair could probably do a bit more damage to this fortress, as he's gonna go for another rollout, and uh, it, I think it did reset. So uh, now I'm gonna go for the Aqua Tail, and it does a very pitiful amount. I'm like, well, damn, this thing is super physically defensive. <laughs> So, um, so now I'm going to switch out and switch into my Psyduck. Actually, also forgot to mention your IVs and your EVs and your nature are also completely random, just to point that out. But, um, he's going to go for the Bug Bite, and I go for Wonder Room. What? <laughs> Hello? Uh, what does Wonder Room do exactly? Well, R Wonder Room switches your defense and special defense stats. So, uh, so basically, I just swapped uh, Fortress' um, special defense stats and his phys um, his special defense and his physical defense stats. So, uh, and you know, since he's more physically defensive, um, since I go for the, I went for the Aqua Tail, and uh, it does a bit more damage because his special defense is obviously lower than his physical defense. If that made any sense to you guys, if you don't, if you don't, if it doesn't make sense to you, then just go look up Wonder Room and look what the move does, and then you'll see w why I went for it. Uh, actually, it can't, I can't believe it came in handy. At this at this time, I mean, really, I mean, seriously, I was just really surprised. But you know, you have to work, but you have to just work with what you get. You know, I mean, that's what Challenge Cup does. It, it, you have to work with what you get. You know, but um, anyway, I'm gonna bring in Zatu. I'm gonna go for the Peck, and wouldn't you fucking believe it? It doesn't die. What? Um, 
I am very upset at that. And then I lose my Zatu, which was the best Pokemon I had on my team to take on. That's the best. That was the best Pokemon I had on my team. Literally. I mean, it had just the best move set ever, and it just did work. But I'm like, what the fuck? It, it died. And the Fortress didn't die to a freaking uh, peck. I'm like, really? It's Stab. Come on, man. But um, I'm just going to bring in Psyduck. He's going to go for the uh, Sand Tomb. Don't know why, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Brick Break and take him out. So, he brings in Meganium, and he's going to go for the two-turn Solar Beam. I do, and uh, I guess he doesn't know that I have a Pan Sage. Well, of course he doesn't know I have a Pan Sage. So, uh, I'm going to actually switch out, switch into said Pan Sage, because uh, that's the only thing I have on my team that can resist uh, that Solar Beam. Because I think all I have left right now is my Slowbro. My Psyduck and my Pan Sage, and obviously Slowbro and Psyduck don't want to take a um, Solar Beam to the face, but uh, he's gonna actually go for Growl. Don't even know <laughs> that just made me laugh. But uh, I'm gonna go for the return, and it's not gonna do shit just because uh, I am a Pan Sage, and he just went for the Growl that turn. So um, you know, but I do happen to carry uh, Home Claws. I think I can't remember if it was Home Claws or Work Up. I will just assume it's home cl home class because uh, I would definitely remember if I had work up on this thing. Yes, yeah, home class. So uh, I'm gonna go for the home class right now. And this 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 I, I don't even I don't even know what to call this match anymore. Like I, I was just I, I don't even know I, I don't I don't know I just don't know guys. Like I'm just sitting here setting up home class just while he's hitting me with solar beams that is gonna be like a four hit KO and it's just. This match was just very, very funny. Especially his Torterra, man. Just wait until you see his Torterra. I mean, that thing was very scary at first. And then I saw his move and I was just like, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, I'm just going to go for the return. And it is not going to take it out, obviously. And then his, what, his berry? What what berry? His Mongo berry activates. And I'm like, what? What does my and I was like, okay. That's a berry i never seen before. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to go for the return. I think one of my berries probably activated. I don't even know what kind of berry I had. But um, I think I'm going to die this turn to the solar beam. Yes, I do. I mean, really, I could, he couldn't have gotten minimum damage on that. Okay, that's that's fine. It's fine because uh, I guess solar beam is the only move he has to hit me with. So my Psyduck is definitely safe to come in. But he has Endure. What? When? What? How? Why? <laughs> you just wanted to troll me, man? <laughs> So uh, he's going to live with 1 HP, but it obviously didn't matter because um, I am just going to go for the Psy Shock again, and I am going to be able to take out this Meganium. So uh, that is uh, one dead fucking dinosaur thing. But uh, he's going to bring a Torterra. I'm, I'm very, very, very afraid. And I see, I, he sees, I see Sword Zance, and I'm like, okay, okay, I am getting very, I'm getting very scared. Let me go ahead and go for Screech, lower his defense a little bit, so then I can hit him with like a Psy Shock. But he shows me tackle, and I'm like, oh, tackle? <laughs> what? Okay, I'm I'm safe. Let me go. Let me just go ahead and go for a side shock, and it does almost half to this thing. I was like, wow, that's really good. But side duck dies, so all I have left is slow bro, and um, I think I have what confusion, and he goes for the wide guard, thinking that it actually works like protect, but uh, it doesn't work. I think it only works like protect in double battles and triple battles, so uh, that was pretty much just a waste of return. So um. But, you know, hey, you don't know. I mean, half the time, you don't even know what the fuck half these moves do. I mean, honestly, really? Like, who uses wide guard? No one. So, I mean, obviously, you wouldn't know what it does. But um, he's going to go for that plus four tackle, and he gets a crit. And I was like, whoa. But the crit doesn't even matter because he does still have his Butterfree, and his Butterfree is just going to be able to come in. would be able to come in and just, like, um, hit me with a fucking bug bite or something, you know, but, um, actually, I don't even know if it would have taken me out from that range, um, if I actually, uh, if he didn't get the crit, but, uh, it was a good game, though, it was just, it was just a good game, I don't even know, I, I don't even know, it's, it's very hard to narrate a challenge cup battle, because half the time, you just see, it's just like a big what the fuck, like, all the time, seriously, but, um, I hope you guys enjoy, you know, you can leave a like, comment, and if you're not subscribed, and you feel like subscribing, you can subscribe, and, um, Hope you have a good Sunday, rest of the weekend, and um, see you on um, Tuesday with the Emerald episode.